Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lydia Simba. Hoping you've been doing well the dates. It's good to see you back. Um, a couple of days ago, we lost a young man. This young man was quite famous. He was known all over the social media waves um, for the controversial type of content he was creating and uh, basically being out there young and doing his thing. What has really caught my attention is the way the content creators have taken it upon themselves to deliver the messages to all of us and disrespecting and disregarding the feelings of the grandmother. I'm sure by now, uh, quite a number of you witnessed what happens, what happened at the city mortuary. The poor grandmother was devastated, she couldn't hold herself, and all what the content creators were doing was just putting their cameras and phones, everything on her face, capturing her every moment, in the name of creating content. This art of the human nature, I would call it, really caught my attention. And it got me thinking, to what extent would you go in the name of creating content? You don't, you don't care about what other people are going through. You don't care about their feelings. Or what matters to you? is just put up things there for people to watch, give you views, likes, and make you feel good. When you refresh your timeline and you see that the views are going up, you are so happy. How about we exercise an act of humanity? Take a moment and pause and think about what other people are going through. Take a moment and think if it was your own mom going through a loss, would you be comfortable with people following her all over during a morning process with cameras and disregarding her feelings? Would you want the same to happen to your mom? Would you want the same to happen to your family? Remember, the guy that died was a young person he was on social media doing his thing, but until his demise, we didn't know about his family. Of course, he had talked about living with the grandmother, uh, living with uh, his uh, siblings after being orphaned at an early age. I am talking about Brian Shira, guys. He never brought the grandmother to the limelight. He never showed her face at any particular moment. If I am right, I stand to be corrected. But once he lost his life, so many content creators went to City Mochari to view the body and to bring us the news, to report live from City Mochari, following the grandmother all over with the cameras. This woman was devastated. This woman had lost it. And all what people were doing is following her every move, every uh, bend she, she made. People were just tilting their cameras to make sure that they get the best shot. To me, that was so inhuman. It was so disrespectful to say it was uncouth. If you were to lose your life today, is that how you'd want your mother treated? Is that how you'd want your family treated? Sometimes just pause and ask yourself questions so that even as you're out there doing things to other people, ask yourself whether you'd want the same done to you. Sometimes take a pause, put yourself in other people's shoes and decide and be guided by the human nature to do the right thing. It is unfortunate that we lost that life. I did know the guy in person, 
I only met him on social media. Um, him doing his thing. He used to say that he was a mother of controversy. That he was the mother of drama. That he loved attention. That he loved controversy. That is the life he had chosen. He had chosen that too for himself. Not for the grandmother. Not for his family. He had chosen that life for himself. So. In honor of his family. People should learn to be. And to put yourself in other people's shoes. And do what is right. Let the family mourn in peace. Let them enjoy their quiet moment. And put off your damn cameras. Anytime you go visiting the grandmother, she doesn't need that right now. She just needs to be given time to mourn the loss of her grandson. She just needs to be given time to feel whatever she's feeling right now because it's such a difficult, difficult moment. She just needs to be given time to cry and let all the emotions out. She doesn't need your cameras. She doesn't need the cameras. She doesn't need you reporting to the entire world and showing us her in her worst condition. She doesn't need that. She needs to be given time to go through this process to mourn the loss of her grandson to maybe remember the good time they enjoyed with their grandson. She needs to be given time to be human, to be vulnerable, and to be in her mourning attire. Not the flashy cameras left, right, and center. You trying to get her to say something even she, when she can barely utter a word. That is inhuman. Honestly, that was a no for me. It was a no for me. I wouldn't want the same done to me, to my mom, or to anybody else for that matter. Wait until when it's the burial day then. Wait until then and then you can capture the moment and share to the world. Wait until it's the time when you're giving him his flowers at the grave sites, wait until that moment. You can go live, you can do whatever you want to do, wait until that moment and share the day with us. But not what you did at the city mortuary. No, that wasn't good. That wasn't called for. Wait until the material day when the family and his friends shall be laying him to rest. Wait until that day get your cameras, do your thing. I think that day is allowed. And if the family demands privacy, respect that. Thank you. Because losing a loved one is, is difficult, it's heavy. You've never, if you've never walked that path, you may never understand. And every loss hits differently every loss hits differently the pain is unmeasurable there's no amount of comfort that can make the person going through that loss feel better there's no amount of cameras that can make somebody feel okay give the grandmother time to heal Give the grandmother time to process the loss. It's the right thing to do. And I know each one of us would want the same given to our parents, our guardians, our loved ones. When they are going through such a difficult time. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, 
Let's learn to give people their flowers while they're still breathing. If somebody is of impact to you, let them know right now. If you care about somebody, let them know now when they're still breathing. If you want to show appreciation to somebody, do it now when they're still breathing. Do not wait until the last moment when they leave this world. That is when you want to go all out of your way saying how important they were to your lives, how they impacted your life, how they were good. Don't wait until that time where they are not there to see. Do it now. Show appreciation right now. It's the right time to do it. It's the right moment. We live in an era where things are moving on the first lane. We are living in an era where we barely have time to visit each other, time to for meetups. So a text here, a phone call here would be ideal. Don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until you run out of time to say thank you, to say sorry, to show appreciation to people that have impacted your life in one way or another. Don't wait until it's too late to give to somebody. If you can, do it now. Because now is the time. Today is the time. Tomorrow is no guarantee. Next day is not guarantee. Now is the time to do that one positive thing. That positive Guest, that positive and kind gesture to that person do it now don't wait until it's too late don't tomorrow is not a guarantee I remember sometimes back uh, I lost somebody we used to work with and what strike and what happened to me that time is that I couldn't help but feel guilty for a request he had made to me and I said no because uh, the policy dictates that things have to be done in a certain way. When I learned of his death and I remembered what kind of interaction I ever had with him, I thought to myself, why why didn't I assist him that time? He was asking for my help because he was not meeting uh, the set rules or the standards. No, I'm just only human. I, I, I really beat myself, asking myself, uh, if I had done that, maybe I wouldn't be feeling this bad. Maybe the death, the death who did hit me this much. But such is life. The lesson we learn is that uh, in whatever you do, in whatever interactions, in whatever you do, in whatever interactions you have, do it as though you are doing this for the very first time with this particular person. That goes to mean anytime you are given the opportunity to serve, to impact a life, do it with all your heart, give it your best, give it your best shot because this could be the last time you get a chance to interact with this person or this could be the last time you get a chance to serve or impact this person's life. When all is gone, and it's our final resting day. Nothing really matters. Because when you leave this world. You go on your own. And you leave the rest of the world. Going about their daily life. When the end of your life comes. It is a personal journey. So. Choose to be. Peaceful. Peace will guide you.
choose to be a kind person choose to be empathetic and choose to be a person who impacts other people's lives positively and if not somebody who keeps to their self for the sake and the purpose of love my heartfelt condolences goes to the family of that young man i pray that god gives you peace and comfort even as you go through this painful moment i pray that god will guide you and he will be by your side and every step of the way because this is the journey that all of us will go and when it is your time to go home you will go home to meet with your maker may god be with you and thank you for watching this video if you're new here kindly consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you on the next video stay safe god bless you